welcome back to my channel i knew i had to film this specific vlog because i talked about it on my channel before and i did say that when i was ready i would make a video for you guys i'm on my way right now to my pre-op appointment my surgery was scheduled for april 1st but it got moved up to now march 18th today is wednesday and my surgery is monday Right now I'm pulling up to Starbucks just so I can grab something to eat really quick. And then I'm gonna head over to my pre-op appointment. So I will see you guys soon. I made it to pre-op. Yeah, I'm not getting no implants, but it looks so cool. Okay guys, so pre-op is done. It went by super fast. Pre-op was like 15 minutes. I literally got undressed and a doctor came in. He told me again what size my chest would be, like showing me. Because he didn't really give me like a letter or numbers or nothing like that. He just like kind of like showed me with his hand. And then I signed some papers, some consent forms. I got my prescriptions. I just got to CVS Pharmacy. I'm about to drop off my prescriptions so that they could get filled and so that I could pick them up later. Um. Um. Secure the bag. These are my prescriptions, y'all. And I only paid five dollars. I'm ready to lay down, y'all. I do have work tonight. I will pick up the camera again and show you guys my setup and everything that I have for surgery day. So, I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey, y'all. Today is Friday, March 15th. I'm on my way to my pre-admissions testing today. They're just going to draw my blood. I'm actually running super behind. My appointment was for 8.45. Right now, it's 9.09. I woke up at 7, my alarm went off, and I felt like I had a little bit more time. Of course, I overslept, so now I'm rushing to get to the hospital. Hopefully, they still take me. Hey, y'all. I left the hospital for the blood work, and everything went by fast. I hate getting blood drawn because I, my pain tolerance is like a zero for real, for real. But this is what they gave me. They gave me the hobby plans to shower with it before, the night before the surgery, and the night of the surgery. They told me I should be receiving a call by 3 p.m. It's 12.40 now, so by 3 p.m. they're gonna call me with my surgery time. Thanks for tuning in if you made it this far. Hey y'all, today is Saturday, it is the next day, and today I decided that I'm going to go find out my current bra size. For the longest time, I didn't know my current bra size because my weight is always up and down. When I gain weight, I gain weight in my chest. When I lose weight, I lose weight in my chest. Right now, in my adult life, I'm the smallest I've ever been, which is I'm 138 pounds as of today, and I'm coming from 181 pounds. So my chest did go down some, but they're still large. So I really want to know what size they are before I go get them chopped. These are my boobs for reference. I don't know if you guys could tell. Like, I, a lot of people be like, they're not big. But it's more than just them being big. Like, they hang low, y'all. Like, I want them picked up. They're smaller. Smaller and picked up. But really picked up. Like, I want to be able to wear stuff without a bra. I've never in my life been able to wear anything without a bra. I've been growing boobs since I was in the second grade. Like, second, third grade. I had boobs before everybody. So now I'm just ready to be free from the neck pain, the shoulder pain, and the back pain. But mostly the neck pain because of halter tops. Like, because of my job, I wear a lot of halter tops. So you can only imagine, like, trying to support my breasts and tying something around my neck, y'all. The marks I get on my neck, the swelling the next morning, because I work overnight, the swelling the next morning crazy painful but i can already say you're going to be too small for us oh. <laughs> um, but i'm going to measure you to let you know what you're going to do okay thank you for here email, letting me know when it's ready to be picked up would it be the same because mm, the only welcome. thing that's going to change from store to store is going to be the cup size so you're typically going to stay the same in your band measuring it at about a 28 G or an H, but that's uh, so I just left. 
I just left Lane Bryant and they told me that I am a 30 G or H. I'm not gonna lie, that's a little outrageous, that's a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I am. I think that just those bra stores like um, Victoria's Secret and, and all of them and like Lane Bryant's, I think they just have like, I think their bras are just like different because the bra I have on now is a 36D, but it doesn't have a cup in it. Like it's flat. I feel like when I wear, if I wear a bra with cup in it, it makes my breasts appear even larger because of all the padding. So some people might call it a grandma bra, whatever the case may be, but I don't wear bras with padding because I don't want to appear so huge, so humongous. I don't think it makes my boobs look grandma at all, honestly. I think they look fine, but I do prefer bras without the cup, so then it's just boob and not all that extra padding. So that's pretty much the end of that, y'all. I thought it was gonna be like better content, but I'm not comfortable with, with recording people or anything like that. I'm gonna do better, but that's the end of today. I'm about to go to Dollar Tree and get some Gatorade because they want me to drink Gatorade before the surgery, the night before and the day of. All right, y'all, see y'all later. So on my way home, I decided to do this thing I seen on TikTok where the girl used a white t-shirt to outline her current breast before surgery. And then she came back later on with the outline of her new breast after surgery. So that's what I did. And oh my gosh, I can't wait for my surgery, y'all. Okay, y'all, so this is my setup. This is my neck pillow. I have a few pajamas. We have to wear open front pajamas. So these are the ones that I have. I literally already had all of these. Only one that I actually bought, this is my robe, was this Mumu for the actual surgery day. But everything else I already had, you already seen that shirt. And then over here is a pillow that everyone recommended. It is a mastectomy pillow. It goes on the front of your chest and then this sits right underneath your armpits. And then it has pockets on the front where you can store like your phone or the remote and stuff like that and then it also has pockets on the inside where you could put um ice packs over here i have my medication calls i have some gauze i have tylenol tylenol pm stool softener arnica and then i also have some arnica tea and and i have some gatorades powerade pedialyte hydrogen peroxide and then this is my bed setup. I got this pillow on Amazon for $40. And you could either put it in laying down position. And then if I want to sit up, I can bring it up like that. Or if you want to just use this to like lay down, you could also do that and put this underneath your knees. Like it's so versatile and it's so comfortable. I just know I'm gonna love it. And then I have my blanket and my remotes for the fan, my lights up there, and um, fan lights and TV remote. So. Guys, we made it to the hospital. This day came so fast. I'm scared. Oh my god. Do you want me to go while you do your wipe down? Yeah, you could just step outside the current for me. Girl, nobody looking at none of that. <laughs> Hey y'all, I made it to the other side. I'm officially itty bitty titty committee. So here I am the next day. I feel okay. My pain level right now is probably about a three, maybe a four. 
right now i am about to empty out my drains i have to do it every two hours and log it which is gonna help my doctor know when to remove my drains the less fluid the better and the quicker i can have them removed here is the name of my doctor on the screen my doctor is dr jonathan weiser at physicians institute here in hollywood florida y'all 10 out of 10 highly recommend from the staff to the facility to the doctor everyone is amazing if you look him up on google his reviews speak for themselves and everything is 100 percent true if you have the opportunity to book with my doctor i highly recommend him with surgeries like this that's so invasive it's good to have a good doctor with good bedside manner this procedure is intense and things happen on a daily basis and since my surgery now i'm almost two weeks post-op things come up and as soon as i call they answer every single time and they're always ready to bring me in if i have anything going on so please do your research as far as finding your doctor and i will also do a video to help you guys when finding a doctor that accepts insurance Thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate all of the kind words that I received on TikTok. I can't wait to come back for an update. But for now, guys, I'm just resting, recovering, and I'm also all bandaged up. So when I can, I will update you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.